U.S. Navy's future carrier. USS John F. Kennedy conducts first propulsion testing. The future USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79, has reached a major milestone. On September 29, 2025, Huntington Ingalls Industries confirmed that the carrier completed its first nuclear propulsion tests at Newport News, Virginia. During the trial, shipbuilders maneuvered the vessel in the James River using tugboats before returning it to the pier for further checks. This marks an important step in the development of the Navy's next Ford-class aircraft carrier. However, the ship's commissioning has already faced multiple delays. With USS Nimitz scheduled to retire in 2026, the Navy is expected to operate one carrier short for nearly a year. Construction of John F. Kennedy began in 2009. Key milestones included the laying of the keel in 2015, installation of the 588-ton island in 2019, and initial testing of the electromagnetic aircraft launch system in 2022. By 2024, combat system checks and dead load launches were completed. Unlike earlier plans, the ship is being delivered fully equipped from the start. This includes systems to support F-35C Joint Strike Fighters and the Advanced Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar. Congress required that all Ford-class carriers be delivered ready for fifth-generation aircraft. Two systems remain at the center of delays, the advanced arresting gear and the advanced weapons elevators. The arresting gear uses an electromagnetic design to recover a wider range of aircraft, including lighter drones. The elevators move ordnance faster and more safely from magazines to the flight deck. Both systems have faced installation and reliability challenges pushing delivery to 2027. Kennedy's radar configuration also sets it apart. Instead of the dual-band radar used on USS Gerald R. Ford, Kennedy carries the ANSPY-3 in combination with the ANSPY-6 Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar. This system offers 360-degree coverage, far greater sensitivity, and reduced maintenance. It also lowers costs and aligns carriers with the same radar family used on modern Arleigh Burke destroyers. Once in service, John F. Kennedy will displace around 100,000 tons and measure 337 meters in length. 
powered by two A1B nuclear reactors. The ship can reach speeds above 30 knots and operate for more than 20 years without refueling. It will carry a crew of about 4,660, smaller than the Nimitz class thanks to automation and new design efficiencies. The carrier will be armed with Evolve Sea Sparrow missiles, rolling airframe missiles, phalanx close-in weapon systems, and heavy machine guns. Its flight deck can operate more than 80 aircraft, with surge capacity for up to 90. This includes FA-18 Super Hornets, EA-18G Growlers, E-2 Hawkeyes, F-35 Sea Fighters, helicopters, and unmanned systems. Delays have significant program impacts. The Navy has considered early acceptance of the ship even with non-essential work unfinished, to minimize the gap left by Nimitz's retirement. Long-term plans call for Kennedy to be homeported at Naval Base Kitsap Bremerton no earlier than 2029, requiring major electrical upgrades to support the ship's advanced systems. The John F. Kennedy program has seen costs of more than $3 billion in contracts and several schedule shifts. Originally launched and christened in 2019, the carrier is now expected to be delivered in March 2027. As the second of 10 planned Ford-class carriers, CVN-79 will replace USS Nimitz and remain in service well into the 2050s. The name John F. Kennedy continues its legacy, moving from the conventionally powered CV-67, decommissioned in 2007, to a new era of nuclear-powered naval dominance. <laughs>